Hello and welcome to the latest in our technical videos for the Simbel wireless bell ringing system. Today we're going to be looking at setting up one of the third party applications for use with Simbel and in this case we're going to look at Virtual Belfry version 3.4a. Now you can see here that on the screen we've gone to the belfryware.com website uh, where you can download and install Virtual Belfry. It does come in a trial version which will run for 10 complete rounds. We are actually today using the registered version. We've purchased the software from Belfryware and we're going to show you how you can set that up with Simbel to use it as your simulator software. So we've downloaded the product from the downloads page and we have installed it onto our system. So if I bring over the first screen, this is what you'll see when you first open Virtual Belfry. There is very good instructions on how to install this both on the website uh, and on the help file. So once you've got it installed, we now have to set it up for use with the Symbol system. Now the on the left hand side here we have various tabs for settings, the sensors that we're going to look at in a minute, the different views and then also details of the view options that you might have. So we're particularly going to now be looking at the sensors and when you first start the program after you've installed it there will be no sensors, there will be no groups and the using sensors button will be greyed out as you can see. So what we're going to do is to configure Virtual Belfry to use the COM port that has our Symbel receiver on it. Now if we click configure we then get the dialog which allows you to create first of all a new group and that group will contain the sensors and the switches that you have installed at that particular location. Now we're going to set up a new group, we're going to call it Symbel and once we've done that we can then add new bell sensors uh, as we need. Now we're going to set up today for a six bell tower. The instructions are exactly the same if you need to set up eight or twelve bells you just obviously add additional sensors. So first of all we click on new and here we get the new sensor dialog. On the right hand side you can see we've got two COM ports shown. On this com particular computer there are two COM ports active. Our receiver is plugged into COM6. So what we're going to do is set up the first bell. The first bell we're going to call bell 1 as you could imagine. We then have the options for a generic data inf interface or the Bagley multi-bell interface or if uh, you will you have RS-232 pins uh, connected then you can uh, set those up. We're going to use a generic data interface because that's correct for Symbel. If we select and double click on COM6 the port is put in for us and then we have to put in the signal we're going to use for bell number one which in our case is simply the number one. We then have to sound the bell on signal number one of one signals per stroke. What this means is we only have one uh, reflector on a wheel and consequently we're going to react when that signal is seen and then we have to put in a delay. Now this will be different for each uh, installation but for the purposes of this demonstration we're going to put in 250 milliseconds which from experience is a, a good central position. You may have to adjust that to get the bell sounding in exactly the right place but 250 is a good starting point. And then at the bottom here there is a uh, an entry you can make so after the signal ignore other signals for a number of milliseconds. This is originally there for if people are using hardware switches because you can end up with a switch bouncing and sending two signals 
so consequently what we can do is we can say we're going to ignore any other signal after the one we've received to ring uh, for 50 milliseconds not required for Simbel but it's not going to make any difference if you put 50 milliseconds in and then we click OK so we now have the setup for bell number one with the information uh, in the list here that we've just entered so we'll now continue and set up bell number two which we will call bell two again generic data interface COM6, the signal this time is the number 2, and we sound the bell on 1 of 1 after 250 milliseconds, and we're going to ignore any extra signals we get for 50 milliseconds after we receive the uh, signal from the wheel. So we'll continue now to install the others, signal 3. 1 of 1, 250 milliseconds, 50, and bell 4, com 6 again, signal is 4, 1 of 1, 5 again same port signal is 5 and finally we'll do bell number 6 And now we have all six bells set up with their relevant information and we can then close the dialog. Now once you've closed the dialog, you will see that the using sensors button is active. It also says using switches. We're not going to be using switches in this instance, so we'll turn that off. Our group is Symbel. It's interesting to think about groups. If you're taking your Symbel system around from tower to tower, you can have a group set up for each tower with each of the uh, bell delays in place ready to go. So down here we have details of the bells that we have. Now we are going to use silent uh, use bell number one as our input. And to all intents and purposes, we're now ready to go. So if we go back uh, to the main screen, we've only got six bells. So instead of using a 12 bell view here, we're going to change that to our favorite, which is original eight. And we're going to change the number of bells uh, to six. We're going to down here. We have the peel speed that you can set up and then Basically, if we look at the main screen, we've got just the Sally's showing. There are different views you can have, uh, but as you select a different Sally by clicking with the mouse button, that is the bell that you're going to ring. It doesn't matter which bell you're physically ringing within the tower, the bell that rings within Virtual Belfry will, will be the one you select. So once we've set that up, we can test to see if it's working. So if we pull a rope, I have a simulator connected here uh, so I can simulate the, uh, uh, the pulling of a rope. And you can hear there that we have a bell ringing, which is fine. That's coming through from the SIM bell system. And we're now ready to go. Now, we like, of course, to have a view of the... Um, ringers so if we if you've downloaded and installed the ringing display you can have the physical ringers in front of you and there are lots of options shown in the help file of how to actually change and set up uh, the ringers as you want which can include moving the band around uh, and now we're basically ready to ring so 
at this point uh, we can start off in rounds and just do rounds or we can select a particular uh, method so if you want to ring for example plain bob doubles we're now ready to go simply by pressing start to start the rounds and then go to start the actual method or if you want to do some exercises you can select the exercises doubles exercises and for example plain hunt doubles you're now ready to go and if you want to ring plain hunt on number three then you simply select number three before you start ringing and that's about it there's nothing more to say with virtual belfry it's very very simple to set up the sensors uh, we will obviously as new versions get released we will update or put up a new video to show how you set up the sensors for those but from that point you can uh, go enjoy using virtual belfry with Symbel. the two systems work brilliantly together and uh, enjoy your ringing